So after 4 days of waiting for my Wacom Cintiq Pro 24, it has finally arrived. I'm very excited to unbox it. Um, I ordered it directly from the Wacom Canada store and also bought the Flex Arm, which I will be unboxing in another video. The Cintiq Pro 24 costs just over 2,500 Canadian dollars and the Flex Arm is an additional 520 Canadian dollars. So the total package I got had me part with over $3,000. Was it worth it? Uh, we'll talk about that soon, but let's get to unboxing. I um, just wanted to say that the Wacom has other pen displays and drawing tablets that come in different sizes and at different price points. As a matter of fact, this Cintiq Pro I got also has a finger touch version. I didn't get that because I didn't feel like I really needed that plus it was just way out of my budget. Uh, but to get more information about the other options, you can visit the Wacom website. So now I'll just go ahead to unbox the Cintiq, uh, it came in this exact same package. I'll just cut this hair carefully and it looks like there's another box in there with the actual tablet. I'll bring out this other box in here first. Opening the inner box, there's a card in here with a visual description of all the connections, connection options. Basically how to connect the different cables and how to set up the stand and other instructions that you would need. Lifting up this card, there's a styrofoam box containing all the different accessories from HDMI, USB and power cables to the pen holder, the express key remote the Wacom Pro Pen and the instructions manual of course and a cleaning cloth. We'll go into all those in details in a minute so um, if you kind of missed some of the contents we'll definitely go deeper into that in a couple of minutes. At the bottom of the box is the power adapter and the power cables. I also <laughs> I almost didn't know that was in there. I was doing a final check of the box when I saw that. So I've taken the Cintiq from the box and now I'm going to take it out of the bag that it's in to reveal the ultimate prize. It's actually heavier than I thought. There we go. Ta-da! The Cintiq Pro 24 inches. So if you can see, it's taking up almost the entire desk. When I knew this was arriving, I had to go get a new desk because I thought there was no way that this would fit on the other desk that I have um, along with my laptop and other things on it. So that's something to take into consideration when you're buying this. It takes a whole lot of space. So be sure to clear up some space for it uh, or have a dedicated desk to place it on. So let's go into the individual contents and accessories that were included in the box. So the first is the instructions manual. It shows a list of the cables and different connection options, how to set up the tablet and the pen holder, and how to replace the nibs as well. It also includes pen rings with different colors so you can style your pen with this. I love the blue so I'm going to be using that and, um, and finally it con contains some standard warranty information. Next, we got the Wacom Pro Pen 2. It looks beautiful, uh, comfortable to hold, and I can't wait to find out what it feels like on the tablet itself. Next is the pen stand. I'm just going to remove the film around it. You can open the pen stand by twisting anti-clockwise. This will reveal some replacement nibs just in case your current nibs wear out or if you want to try other nib textures. I'm going to close this back by twisting again clockwise this time. This is the pen holder which attaches to the top of the Cintiq 
either on the left or the right side. It's an alternative to the pen stand. Here's the express key remote for navigating the different controls on the Wacom and also shortcuts on your computer. All the keys are customizable or programmable to allow for easier workflow. It's uh, also battery powered, so you need to charge it from time to time. Here's the power AC adapter. The part with the yellow tip goes into the Cintiq. Here's the power cable that goes into the power adapter. I assume that the plug will be different depending on which country you order from, but this is the plug type B which is used here in Canada. So here's the standard USB-A to USB-A cable and it's 3 meters long. Here's the display port to display port cable. It's also 3 meters long, but I doubt I'll be using this. Here's the HDMI to HDMI cable. And here's the USB-C to USB-C cable. It's only 1.8 meters long. I will be using this with my MacBook and my iMac. And here's the micro USB to USB charger cable for charging the express key remote. Now I'm going to set up the Cintiq. I'll start by laying it on its front. There's a latch in here that I have to pull and I have to pull hard on it to uh, get it removed. And then I need to put two fingers in here and pull back relatively hard. Under the cover here is a few slots. On the left side, there are the slots for the USB-C and power cable. And on the right side are the slots for the standard USB-A, HDMI and the DisplayPort cables. I won't be needing the slots in the right side at this time. I will be connecting using the USB-C cable and of course the power cable and the power AC adapter. Now I'm just going to latch these cables to hold them in place. Screw holes here are for the flex arm, which I will be setting up in another video. If you want to see that video, please subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications and you'll definitely get alerted once I upload that video unboxing the flex arm. Now I'm closing the back cover, making sure the cables go through the hole from where I removed the latch earlier need to make sure the cover clicks in place and that's how you know it's locked. So I'm done with the setup and I'm, I'm now going to flip the Cintiq over. I'll place it on the small foldable stand behind the tablet, connect it to my MacBook and we let this baby run. It's been a few hours of using the Cintiq Pro 24. I'll give my initial thoughts while making this freehand sketch from imagination. Okay, so first of all, I have to say that, that I've used an iPad Pro for a greater part of my time as a digital artist, and the Cintiq Pro is definitely a big step up for me. I'm enjoying the crystal clear display, specifically in 4K, and I also like being able to work on a large screen without having to zoom in and out. Also, the texture of the screen feels natural and is very welcoming in the sense that I don't at this time feel drawn to work on my iPad uh, when I'm at home. The parallax on this device is very minimal, if not absolutely absent. I think the only two things I wish were better are the price and the portability. The price in the sense that this would probably leave your pockets bleeding. If you're not an artist who is looking to make money from your art, you might find it difficult to make sense out of this purchase. Like I said earlier in the video, Wacom has other pen tablets at lower price points and I love them for that. They provide options in terms of affordability for artists at different stages of their career. Uh, from art students to more professional artists. The second drawback is the Cintiq's portability in the sense that it's not very practical to carry the Cintiq from your home to your office without also taking your computer. I wish it had its own engine or operating software uh, where I could store all my files or keep my portfolio when I travel around. Other than those two points, 
Uh, I think this is a great asset and I think I'm going to enjoy using it for a long time. Do you have any of the Wacom tablets or are you looking to get the Cintiq Pro? Let me know in the comment section. Until the next video, peace.